Hi everyone, this is Nancy. Today is October 16, 2021. How are you doing? The other day, I read one article about some vicious printings on children's clothes. The title of the article is When the Hell Invades the Children's Territory. Here is what the news about. A father stared at his daughter's back for a long time and he suddenly realized that something was wrong. What's wrong came from the child's clothes, a gift from her grandparents. It was purchased last year. This was a printed shirt. It came from a domestic brand, and the four years old child had been wearing it for more than a year. Because it was not printed in native language, so nobody had paid attention to it before. The father looked closer and he found a line of English printed on the clothes. Welcome to the hell. On the shirt, there were various images of hell. One person was being rolled over by wheels. A man was hitting another person's foot with hammer. A one-eyed beast was saying, I am looking at you. There was also a man yelling, let me touch you. This apparently not the only case. Later, many parents followed the article and posted similar vicious printings on their children's clothes. Dark forces have always been around. They hide well and it's difficult for ordinary people to notice them. They are everywhere. They are on the internet. They are on TV. They are in books. They are in schools. They are in churches. They are in the air. They are everywhere. What do they want? They want our mind. They want our energy. They want our spirit. They want to control and dominate. The most precious thing we have is our mind. The most precious treasure we have is our energy. Our energy is their food. Nowadays, they are more prevalent and stronger because more and more people's minds resonate with them. I remember when Master said, humans are the milk cow for the demons. They get our energy when we are angry, excited, greedy, in fear, in fight with others. Humans feed them. The Buddha knew all these tricks, so he told us to be peaceful, stay calm, don't move our mind, don't get attached to anything because everything is illusion. Don't discriminate, purify our mind and get liberated from this world. Don't get stuck in here. Amitabha, this today's Dharma share. Cherish your precious energy. Don't give your mind easily to others. Stay calm and peaceful, and don't fall into those traps. Upholding the five precepts is very important in this world. The five precepts are our protective rulings and also, Shrama Mantra is the white canopy that protects not only us, but also the place we live. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.